Hello and welcome back. This is Greg Jones from Ear to the Ground Music. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit today about uh, the Lumineers. Uh, their new album, Cleopatra, that came out in 2016. Um, and the Lumineers are one of those bands that when we explain to people what we cover at Ear to the Ground, it's, it's a name we can mention and people seem to really uh, know who we're talking about and they seem to really enjoy those guys. So... Uh, <clears throat> First, I wanted to say they've come a long way since Ho Hey. Uh, they've they've really uh, developed their sound a little bit, uh, and I would say that even though Cleopatra as an album is still very much in the Americana vein, I would also say that it's a bit more contemplative. Uh, we might even say prayerful in the way that the the lyrics address. Um, Maybe not more difficult themes, but certainly challenging themes, and uh, make the listener uh, be drawn out and, and feel a little bit. Uh, a couple songs I'll just mention briefly uh, for this for this reaction comment here. Um, it, the first song, Sleep on the Floor, calls back to that older style, uh, the, the debut style of the Lumineers, but yet... Um, it, it still gives us this fresh and kind of a crisp sound uh, that the, I would say the song uh, acts as a transition from their earlier stuff to this new album. Um, I really appreciate the resonance that's on many of the vocals throughout the album. I would say that it makes it feel more open, uh, as if you're sitting in maybe like sound check, listening to the band. And you can hear the echo in the venue, but you don't have all the people hooting and hollering uh, to change the song. So I really appreciate that resonance that, that comes through on a few of the songs. Uh, another one that I wanted to mention by name is In the Light. In the Light uh, is, a, uh, I guess I would characterize it as a positive song, largely based on the chord structure. Uh, and I appreciate that it, it, it sounds a little bit ancient. Uh, but it also sounds fresh, and I, I don't know that I have necessarily wrapped my head around how they've done that, but it makes me uh, think about it that way, as both ancient and fresh. Uh, as I said, this album has a more prayerful style, and the last three or four songs, really, on the album all go in that direction, and uh, you hear a lot more electric guitar and lead vocals that really just come through delivered with a, uh, a sincere and uh, almost a comforting kind of sound. The last thing uh, I wanted to say, and this might come across as, as trite, but uh, I'm glad to hear that, that the Lumineers are not just a sort of stomp and clap kind of band. I am glad to hear that they have this, I don't want to say newfound, because they certainly had some depth in the earlier albums, but uh, the when you listen through the entirety of this album, you can feel the sense of, of depth and meaning to it. So, um, over the last uh, couple Read If You Like segments that I've done, I've offered um, some other artists, that I invited you to check out. And we'll go ahead and do that here today as well. So thank you for your time and check out these Read If You Like bands who sound similar to the Lumineers. All right, we have three different Read If You Like suggestions for this video on the Lumineers. The first we'll start with is a band called Valley Shine. And Valley Shine uh, sound a little bit like uh, maybe the Oh Hellos, uh, but really it's their positive, harmony-driven music that we think uh, makes for a good fit and a good comparison with the Lumineers. Uh, then the next one we wanted to mention is a band called Le Barons. They have an up-tempo, even kind of a joyful sound to them. You'll hear some hand clapping on some of their tracks. That really kind of fits into this new folk tradition that uh, the Lumineers are, are almost synonymous with. So we think you'll like LeBaron's quite a bit as well. 
And the last one I want to talk about uh, is a band that I uh, interviewed fairly recently, um, and they're called the Arcadian Wild. They're a trio based in Nashville who have uh, a, a real songwriting richness about them. And I think if you enjoy some of the more um, thoughtful lyrics that come through in the Lumineers, then you'll really enjoy uh, the Arcadian Wild. They safely fit in this uh, in, in this folk tradition, uh, although they may be going in even a more sophisticated direction than the Lumineers. But that said, I think all three of these bands, the Arcadian Wild, LeBarons, and Valley Shine, are worth your time and attention if you're a fan of the Lumineers. Thank you again for, for checking this video, and hopefully you have a great day. Bye-bye.